It even knew the weather was just like this 50 years ago, and indeed this area of high pressure should give most parts of the country a fine day tomorrow, although these fronts will be pushing in from the west, bringing eventually some rain to northwestern parts. And we've only just recently seen the back of the front that gave a lot of wind and rain in the east today. I think you can see that moving away on the satellite picture, but of course it isn't far away, this next great lump of cloud looming large out there on the Atlantic. But as far as this evening is concerned and the rest of the night come to that, just a few showers running in along those northern and eastern facing coasts. Otherwise, for most of the country, a fine dry night with clear skies, but a jolly cold one, a widespread frost. But again, those eastern co coastal counties probably escaping a little bit of cloud there and too much breeze. Tomorrow, most places starting off uh, quite uh, dry and bright and sunny and crisp and cold, of course, but it will be clouding over in northwestern parts right from the start of the day. And during the morning, that cloud will be thickening up. And I think by the afternoon, there'll be some outbreaks of rain getting into Northern Ireland and the north and west of Scotland, and indeed many other northern and western areas. You'll lose your sunshine, but it'll stay quite bright and sunny until the end of the day in the southeastern part of England. Now, temperatures still on the low side for the time of year, around 10 Celsius or so, which is 50 Fahrenheit. But I think with the sunshine and the fact that the wind's going to ease off, it will feel a little bit warmer.